Welcome back to another super realistic speed clean with me. We're starting off by tackling my rather messy living room that my children have been systematically destroying by throwing things all over the floor as children do. So we're gonna get it tidied first and then we're gonna get it clean. Now, if you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Ree from mummyof4.com. If you have been around here before, you'll know I do a lot of speed clean videos. I often do power hour speed clean videos. I have been known to do sort of all day cleaning, but in reality, it's very difficult when you are a busy mum to tackle the whole house in one go or to find all day to set aside just for cleaning. So realistically, most of my cleans I do on this channel are power hours. But in this video, this is an even more realistic clean because this is made up of several mini blocks of cleaning that I did over the course of a few days. So we're putting this structure the girls have made out of Duplo into the other room because they're insisting that they don't want to just take it apart just yet. They're feeling rather sad about that. So I've said, well, you can keep that. It's like a hotel they've made or something. Keep that for tomorrow, but let's tidy up the rest of the place because, oh dear. Anyway, so this video is a super realistic way I actually get things done, which is in short bursts. I very rarely clean the whole house in one go. I don't always find an entire hour, but I very frequently find five, 10, 15, or even 20 minute bursts in between getting things done to get the other things done, you know? So maybe you've got a short block before dinner or before putting the children to bed or just after dropping them in school or just before you've got to go and get them from school. Those little mini blocks, those 10 minutes at a time, are where I tend to find the most time to get the most cleaning done. And to be honest, those are the bits, I do those so frequently, I don't always remember to film them. And I thought, you know what? I did a video recently, let me know if you saw it. It was about 10 minute mini organization projects. I'm gonna be doing some more of those because that seemed to really resonate with everybody. So the girls are currently just tidying all of the little baskets into their kitchen. You will find that the basket system that I use in my actual kitchen, the girls use as well. We put all the toy food into little baskets and because it's in baskets, it's easier to put away. And that's a basket of stuff that belongs upstairs that I'm asking them to take away, out of the way. I like to use baskets to gather things from one room to take them to where they need to go. And that basket of stuff goes upstairs. So the girls have done a quick change. We went upstairs to put stuff away and Zara decided that she needed to wear her Cinderella cleaning dress because that's what Cinderella wears to clean and Bella's like well in that case I'll be Belle I'm sure this is what Belle wears to clean so I've given the girls some fluffy dusters because quite frankly I sometimes think they prefer them to actual toys and I'm going to start over here in the corner and work clockwise around the room so I'm going to dust with my fluffy duster probably be a little more efficient than the girls I'm going to spray some method uh, this is the pink grapefruit one and I just like to spray straight onto the cloth rather than onto the surface because sometimes it'll like spray a bit of the wall or leak down or whatever so I just find it's a bit more accurate I guess. The girls are cleaning their Disney castle with their fluffy dusters. It's just about getting them to help. It keep, it's keeping them entertained and busy and feeling like they are being helpful, even if it's not super efficient cleaning. I am um, just cleaning, say, round clockwise. I'm starting with dusting and then we're gonna move further down to the floor. So if you start with the high places, this is my theory anyway, and the dust up high, and then as you kind of agitate and move the dust, it falls lower and lower to the floor, and then do the floor last. That is a little, um, that thing with the remote controls on it. I think it's a candle holder from Ikea, but I use it as a place to put remote controls or at least I try and get my family to put the remote controls back in it. So in theory, we know where they belong. So by putting them back there, hopefully, but I'm dusting the flowers at the moment. They're fake flowers, they can't keep real flowers away, by the way, away, away, <laughs> alive, by the way, alive. I can't even use my brain today, apparently. Oh, look, cleaning the candle. That was candle sort of soot, I suppose, but it did, didn't look terribly attractive today. So we've gone sort of halfway round with the dusting now. The children are just putting their Disney castle back. 
they go they're gonna they're gonna dust their little kitchen as well bless them they do love this little kitchen it is fixed to the wall so don't pull it on themselves and now I'm gonna get the vacuum cleaner out I really don't have much time in this little burst so this is not the end of the video because we're gonna skip to another day in a second but this is as much cleaning as I often get done in one little burst so it's tidying a room and then if I've got time Bella's just found something under there that belonged in a box if I've got time I'll then vacuum if I've got time I'll do that a little bit more so sometimes you think okay I'm just gonna tidy up and then if you find a little bit more time and you squeeze in a bit of dusting or you squeeze in a bit of vacuuming so maybe for example today I would think right I'm, I'm just gonna vacuum the living room but then while I've got it out I think well maybe I'll move in and vacuum another room as well while I've got it out and if you've got time you can do those little bit little bit more sometimes that is less overwhelming and it feels more manageable than being like right i'm going to get up and clean the whole house today sometimes you might be so overwhelmed by that that you end up not doing anything at all and by saying right i'm just going to do a little bit and then once you've got the momentum going you can do a little bit more that i personally find works with my brain it feels less scary and overwhelming and sometimes when we get overwhelmed we get kind of a bit paralysis by analysis I right, don't know where to start so I'm gonna start nowhere and not actually do anything at all so for this clean um, and you will notice I've opened the doors because I'm boiling hot cleaning always makes me boiling hot because I try and rush around as much as possible but that room you will agree is looking significantly better I've not spent that long on it we've just had a bit of a, a tidy up a little dust nothing major and a little vacuum of the floor I didn't have time to do the floors in the uh, hall like I wanted to but never mind it's better than nothing we've now jumped to another day and you can tell this because I'm wearing something else and I'm going to sort some laundry now I put laundry on every day when I'm at home like even Christmas Day I will put some on and the reason for this is not because I'm obsessed with doing it, but because I'm almost frightened is the wrong word, but I know how it feels to feel super overwhelmed with the backlog. And the backlog is the thing that stresses me out. So I feel like if I keep the washing machine and the dryer going, or the hanging up system. Now, if you've seen my laundry routine videos, which are all linked in on my channel there's playlists about laundry playlists about cleaning if you're interested in any of that but basically I use the dryer for socks pants uniform that kind of gets used and abused pajamas maybe and all of our clothes that I don't want to kind of get worn by the dryer because I feel like the dryer does make clothes age and kind of fade and go more bobbly or whatever so all of our clothes that are not school uniform I hang up in here so if you're looking at this rail so this is a rail behind uh, two sliding doors and there is a full laundry room tour and in fact there's there's a whole home renovation playlist you can see how the whole house got put together but there's a lot full laundry room tour if you're interested in exactly how all this works but basically there's two rails and there's the wall on the left hand side of the screen and the other side is attached to a calyx which you'll see in a little minute when we get onto the next bit. But it's uh, on the far left of the hanging rails, there's a, a radiator and then all the stuff gets hung up in there, hung up in shape. So the rails are actually behind what's now the door, if that makes sense, next to that calyx. And so all that stuff dries really nicely as long as I leave plenty of air between it. So onto this next section. So the basket you can see in kind of the bottom right of the screen is the stuff that's come out of the dryer and then the boxes the calyx boxes the gray and the white ones with the little tiny names above them you can't actually see from here are one per person and myself and my husband have got them underneath where you saw the hanging just now basically then all the stuff gets put when it comes out the dryer into the box per person and then once a week sometimes twice a week depending on how much it builds up but at least once a week I give a box to each family member and then you put the stuff away so this was a, just a 10 minute job but I do that most days I definitely put laundry on every day 
but I do the sorting of the laundry most days as well, just to stay on top of it. So as you can tell, we're in my bedroom now. You might be able to tell if you've seen our house tour and you can definitely tell it's a different day because look, my clothes have changed again. So I have just done a little organize my dressing table, which will appear in a different video. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel for that so you do not miss that because I believe at the time of this video coming out, that one is not out yet. And that's going to be another like 10 minute organization project video. But make sure you are subscribed so you can see that when that comes out. But then after I'd done the little organize, I thought, you know what? This place is filthy. So I'm, I've got another few minutes. I'm going to give it a little clean. Uh, I'm actually vacuuming. <laughs> Did I just vacuum the inside? No, I didn't. Did I vacuum? I can't remember. I filmed this a few days ago. I can't remember what I did. I think I just cleaned out the inside of these, which I think are plant pots. They're from Ikea as well, but I use them as brush holders, both hairbrush and makeup brush holders. So it wasn't my intention to keep cleaning my bedroom, but I've got these extra few minutes and I'm feeling sort of motivated to keep going. You know, I'm, I'm in motion. I think sometimes the getting going is the hardest bit. So I'm using a combination of the method glass cleaner and the method surface cleaner. So that one's the multi-surface cleaner, which smells like pink grapefruit. And I'm using that because there's some proper grime on here. Everyone charges their electric toothbrushes here next to my bed. They bring them all here, but they seem to leave them all manky before bringing them to charge, which is disgusting, uh, which is why the toothbrush charger holder thing gets ew, gross. So we're using multi-surface rather than glass cleaner on that. But all of our bedside table thingies are covered with like a glass topper thing. They're all from Ikea. Um, so sometimes I do use the glass cleaner to clean in here. Look, I am actually using the glass cleaner as well. See, just like I said, this room gets so dusty. I clean this, ew, probably not as often as I should, but the, not totally infrequently, but it always amazes me the amount of dust that builds up in our living room, especially the, a lot, a lot of dust. So this is my husband's side. Now, his side always seems dustier than mine, but I think every now and again, I see a bit of dust and I literally just wipe it over with a tissue on my side because I'm like, ugh, gross. Literally, not even a 10 minute clean, a two second, I'm just gonna wipe this. And I don't think he does that quite as much as I do. So, my bed needs changing. I was gonna do it later on or potentially tomorrow, but I'm kind of in motion. I'm feeling like I could keep going a little more. So, if you ever are already in motion and doing a bit of cleaning. Perhaps you've got your AirPods in, you listen to some music and audiobooks, always good. Or a YouTube video like this one where we're chatting along and cleaning together. If you're ever feeling like, right, I'm just going to do this one thing. If you feel like I could do one more thing, do that one more thing. You will be so pleased with yourself. Future you will thank you. So future me getting into bed at the end of the day when we've got lovely clean sheets will thank me. Future me will also thank current me for buttoning up the duvet cover because if you do not button up the duvet cover or popper up the duvet cover before sticking it in the washing machine you will inevitably get a pillowcase or something lost inside the duvet cover which is so annoying. Now you will have seen I just grabbed some clean laundry uh, for the bed from that box inside my bedroom. Now the top two boxes, there's six boxes in the stack you can see in the corner of the screen. The top two are bedding, so the very top set is white bedding for our bed. The box under that is pillow protectors and mattress protectors for all the rooms really. And the one under that is cleaning products. Now, one of the key things I find to being able to squeeze in these minutes where you find just a tiny bit of motivation one of the barriers to cleaning is not having the stuff to hand, thinking, oh, it's just too overwhelming to go and find the things I need. Don't make that a barrier to cleaning. Have the stuff where you're gonna need it. So if you leave some cleaning supplies in your bathroom, in a cupboard or something, if you're in the bathroom and you're about to get in the shower and you think, Ugh, yuck, this needs a wipe over, you can just do it, you don't need to stop what you're doing and fetch the things because that's a barrier to doing things put the things you need where you're going to need them and then you're more likely to actually do things this is how i find things personally anyway let me know if it works for you 
So by having cleaning supplies in my bedroom, for example, if after I'd finished organizing that drawer in my dressing table, if I had had to walk all the way downstairs, I mean, we don't exactly live in a mansion, but if I'd had to walk downstairs to get cleaning products, maybe I wouldn't have bothered. Right, another trick, another lazy girl trick now. I just sprayed the bed with crease releaser because I hate ironing bedding. And this is a big bed, what's well, a king size bed? It's too big. I've got too much on in my life. I've got four children. I work full time from home. I don't have time in my life to iron bedding. So some people will judge me for that, but I'm here to say to you that I don't have time for it. Let me know if you iron bedding. If you do, you, you're a better human than me, I'm sure. But me, I just spray it with crease releaser, smooth it over, leave the window open to air, and then come back a little bit later. I even do the pillows look. It also makes it smell good. Just be really careful with this stuff. I mean, it's not too bad up here. We've got carpet, but be really careful with this stuff on like laminate floors. It makes them really slippery. I'm talking ice rink slippy. So we've now fast forward, I don't know, an hour or something. The bed is dry from the airing in through the window. And replace the scatter cushions and the throw and it looks a lot better and those bedside thingies are no longer dusty. So I've got another few minutes, another few minutes, and I'm gonna get one more thing done. So I'm gonna grab the vacuum cleaner and I'm gonna vacuum in here. I've moved enough dust around. I'm going to vacuum a bit more. I really don't have much time left, but it's better to vacuum one room than vacuum no rooms. And next time when I tackle another one of the children's rooms say because I've got a bit of time then I will vacuum in there so it's probably more efficient to clean the whole house at once agreed so I would only get the vacuum cleaner out once I would vacuum the whole house however that's not always practical and at the moment in order to clean the children's rooms as in to physically clean ugh, look at all the gunge coming up there whoops um, in order to vacuum the children's floors we'd have to go and tidy them and i'll tell you right now the children's bedrooms are a mess because while i have been doing this they have been in their bedrooms making a mess so the moral of the story is yes in an ideal world we clean the whole house at once and then everything is immaculate and then everyone is instantly more respectful of the tidy house and keeps it tidy a bit longer but in real life doing a few minutes of cleaning and keeping on top of things is better than doing no minutes of cleaning. So let me know in the comments, what sort of cleaning do you do? Are you like a whole house cleaner, like a take a day, do the whole house in one go? Or are you more like I end up doing? Maybe a power hour. If you can just set aside an hour, you can set a time and be like, right, I'm gonna do as much as I can in an hour. Are you more like a squeeze in a cleaning when you can, which is how I mostly do it. Click the video on screen now for some more speed cleaning motivation. I'll see you guys over there. Mwah.